Good morning from the island of Egana. I'm here for the day. I've never been here in March, so I thought it would be a good time to come and see what it's like. Now, I don't know what it's going to be open and what's not, uh, because it's close to Athens, so it has a lot more year-round population and also very popular for Greeks to come. And as you can see, it's a super beautiful day. And I wasn't really paying attention on the ferry, but now I'm getting off and there are so many people. And there's just four of them. I saw another one that's waiting to get off. There might even be more inside. I don't know. I didn't even know the ferry could hold this many tour buses. <laughs> Now this is how you spend a Sunday in Greece. Now you can sit inside the little area in the shade, but I decided I wanted to sit in the sun. I mean, that's the whole point of coming to an island, right? And it's not that cool out in the sun. So I've taken off my jacket and my shirt, the overshirt I was wearing, and I'm sitting, getting some lovely vitamin D. Despite having been to Egana, I don't even know how many times at this point, I've never been inside this church. Usually when I come to Egana, it's been for a few hours or I've gone to another spot. I haven't stayed here in town. So that's part of the reason I wanted to come and like just explore the town. So <laughs> uh, that's what I'm here to do. So let's go inside this church. I don't know the name of this one actually. I did not want to film inside because there were lots of people inside and I uh, wasn't sure if they were worshiping or not, but very beautiful. Not very big though. It looks big on the outside, but it's not very big inside. What I love is they have their Easter schedule handwritten outside. I've never even wandered the back streets past the port, <laughs> which is kind of sad because look at this fabulous building here. Look at that. That's amazing. The door, the windows, the patina of aging is fabulous. The other thing I should say is that it is a Sunday, so not everything is open. And then of course it's the off season, so not all of the restaurants and hotels and things are open. Although I think it's busier than a lot of the islands would be in March. It's so nice and quiet back here on these back streets, not on the port. It's lovely. And there's several real estate offices and I keep going by and looking at them, you know, but they're uh, all things for sale that I can't afford. But. You know, it's always fun to look. I think because it's a more touristy island, they have more things that are open in the winter. <clears throat> I mean, still not tons like Athens, but way more than a lot of the islands would be have open in the winter. I like this uh, store's sign. It's really cute. It's very confusing though. One says, see you in spring, and then says, see you next summer. <laughs> well, this looks like some kind of archaeological thing that looks like a tower. I did walk by a museum, but it wasn't open. This also seems to be the place where the cats are hanging out. There's one there. There's one there. And there's a little one here. All right, tower, not cats. The sign says this is the Tower of Marcellus, which you may or may not be able to see in the video. According to tradition, it was built in 1802 by Spiros Marcellos, but the architectural style indicates that it might have been built around the end of the 17th century that were part of some Venetian fortifications um, because the Venetians did occupy the island from 1687 to 1715. It definitely is not being used now. In fact, they are, looks like they're doing some excavation work down there. I'm not gonna go in because it looks like it is technically marked off. This is a very cool looking hotel. I don't know if it's open in the winter. I mean, the door is open, that, but that could be because they're working on it or they actually live in the hotel because these shutters down are closed, but I just like the sort of walled look to it. And then there's this other church here, which I didn't even know existed. So I'm gonna go in there as well. Sadly, they had closed the doors right when I got here and I could hear these other people saying that they were asked to leave, so. But I, I did peek in the window. It's stunning in there. So if you get to come and it's open, I recommend going inside because I haven't really explored past the port. I'm kind of shocked at how much uh, kind of variety of shops that I'm seeing. Um, a lot of the more touristy islands here in Greece just have you know, the souvenir shops and some restaurants and things. And then you have to go further in to get to like the regular places. But here, there's a lot of stuff like, I don't know, you can't see it, but there's a mattress over there. <laughs> so uh, it's interesting to see, 
that the, a lot of the shopping for the locals is down here as well. Okay, this is an interesting sign. This says see you in March. So some of the stores will open in March, which is definitely earlier than a lot of places. Um, of course it is March, but hey, it's only March 10th. But the souvenir shops are still open. So that tells me they do expect tourists to come. I mean, there were probably some, there were a few definitely on the boat, but not like tons, it was mostly Greeks. So I don't know, this is interesting. Evli, the yard is what it means. It's a snack bar, it says. And it says it has live music, but I bet not on a Sunday night. <laughs> but I like the little uh, garden looks cool. Smells fabulous. Most of the other people that I'm hearing are from other European countries. I mean, not the Greeks, obviously, but I'm hearing German and some languages that I don't understand. I mean, not that I understand any of those, but like that I don't understand where they're from. I wouldn't want to swim today, but I wish I'd brought like some flip-flops and a small towel so I could at least put my feet in because it looks really nice. <laughs> Um, now it is right here by the ferry port, so, you know, I don't know how nice it would have actually been, but I bet it feels amazing. It is probably the perfect day to be here that you're not going to go like swimming because it's not hot. It feels great. I don't really need this jacket, but I needed it in Athens and I'll probably need it on the way back. So I'm now going to go to the, the Temple of Apollo and the Archaeological Museum. Never done that when I've been here, so this should be interesting. They are both up here at this gate. I didn't really, as I mentioned, do any research about what I was going to do today. I don't know what the fees are, so we'll find out when I get up there. But it should offer some really nice views from the temple because it's, it's here on this point. Only two euros to get in, and that's the museum and the temple. So very reasonable. Probably too low, if you ask me. but informative museum. So this is the Cape of Colonna and there was a settlement here. So if you go inside, even if you're not interested so much in the ruin pieces, the, there's lots of information about the people who lived here. I'm loving all the spring flowers. It's so beautiful. And all the butterflies that are flying around. And they have a great little map here telling you what it is that you're looking at. I want to go up to the temple. I think I need to go to the right. I'm going to check this map. So I'm going to go up here and see the temple of Apollo and then we'll decide whether or not I'm going to walk around to see the sea part or do something else. I don't know. I'm really enjoying all these spring flowers so I'm really tempted to just plop myself in the middle but I'd probably get bitten by a thousand bugs. <laughs> Look at that. These must have been impressive buildings because like this is what remains. The models don't do them justice. So they have models of some of the settlements here and <laughs> this is definitely not do them justice. There's more signage. Ah, a Byzantine cistern. Okay, this is the second gigantic pot I have seen. The other one was in the museum that I showed you. It's called a pithos. Pithos, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but the one inside they said had to have been built inside the house because it was too big. It was The door would not have been large enough for it to fit through. I wish you guys could smell what it smells like. It smells fantastic. There's like this sweet smell in the air. And it's one of the first things that when I came to Greece, I smelled the very first time when I got off the plane actually. A lot of people think I'm crazy but there's sometimes this sweet smell here in Greece. It's like maple syrup and I think it comes from a tree. Someone's told me once before and now I can't remember but that's what it smells like today. This is way more impressive up close. Every time I've sailed by I've been like oh it's a column sticking out of the ground on the hill <laughs> but it's really not. <laughs> I'm so glad that I came today up here because 
I don't think this is talked about enough when people talk about coming to Agana. They talk about going to the monastery. They talk about going to the temple of Aphea. But they don't talk about coming here. And unlike a lot of the temples to Apollo, you can't really walk in them. You're just sort of delicated to standing outside. I say this every time I come to one of these ancient sites in Greece. Ancient Greeks really know how to pick a spot for temples, cities, you name it. They're like, oh no, we're going to pick this beautiful spot, we're going to build a temple here, or we're going to build our city here. I mean, not that I blame them, but, you know, <laughs> they've captured all the good spots. So you can see the site goes all the way to the tip, the point over there, and you can walk over there, there's a path. So if you wanted to go explore more, and the sign is actually here. So you should come up here first and read the signage, and then if you want to go explore more of it, you can. All right, I think that's all the exploring I'm going to do for now. I'm going to try to find a place to sit and eat lunch. Really, my intention was just to come and relax. And yes, I went out and saw some stuff, but I still found it very relaxing. It's starting to get busy here. Everybody's out for lunch. It's about a little after 2.30 in the afternoon, which is pretty typical here. And my cell phone is dying, which I definitely need to charge a little bit before I get back on the ferry. So find a place to eat and see if they'll let me charge my phone. It's almost hot sitting here in the sun. I keep trying to like move around. <laughs> I took my other shirt off again. So I'm just waiting for my food. Unfortunately, um, even for Greece, I came too late for what I wanted. Everything I wanted, they didn't have any left. So I'm just having a chicken slovaki, which is fine. I'm not mad about that. <laughs> This guy is living the life, just sunning himself here on the bench. I don't think he loves me taking his picture. He uh, keeps giving me a look. Don't worry, I did give him a pet. <laughs> not gonna take his photo or in video and not give payment. So the thing that Egana is known for is it's pistachio and I can't come without good pistachio ice cream. This is a great way to finish all the food on Agana. I've had so much food and I was only here for like, I don't know, six or seven hours, but it was worth it. It was so nice to get out of the city and have some sea air. I've got myself some pistachios, which I was debating whether or not I was going to do, but I don't know when I'm going to come back because summer is beginning, <laughs> despite the fact that it's March. So I figured out um, why suddenly when I was getting ice cream, there were tons of Americans. Um, it's the tourist boat. It's the one where they go to the three islands in one day. So <laughs> uh, I guess, I think this is their last stop. I think they go Hydra, maybe Poros, and then here, I can't remember. So suddenly there were tons of people around, like everywhere. And a lot of them were Americans, which I thought was really interesting. And they were all students, like young students, like college age. And there's my ride same boat that I came on. If you want to see more Agana, watch this next. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.